All right, Joe Cook here with head coach Anthony Evans once again on the coaches show. Um, hey, Spartans doing great. One, have won four out of your five games here, including this three-game winning streak. So the team really on the roll. Uh, things are working for you guys. I guess as you look at over these five games, these three these three games that you guys have won in a row, one on the road. You got one one on the road as well at Howard. How's the team evolved um, over this stretch of games? I think the biggest thing is defense. You know, we've, we've come together defensively. We've held our opponent to below 40% shooting from the field, uh, which, which is big. And for, for the most part, we've out-rebounded our opponent. So those two things together you know, has helped us tremendously. And yeah, over, over these last three games, in all the four wins out of the five, you've held the opposing team to a lower field goal percentage. What are you guys executing on defense? Well, we're stopping penetration and we're challenging shots. We're making sure that there are no open shots for the most part. You know, everybody's going to get a shot here and there. But all the shots we're trying to challenge and limiting dribble penetration and then rebound, not, not allowing second shots. Yeah, another thing that's been working for you guys is the three ball. I mean, you had a 1-16 performance at Hampton, and since then the shots have been falling. You've hit nine threes on two occasions. Uh, one on the 17th of January, another on the 24th, of each other. So you guys are really hitting the three ball. Repetition, confidence. You know, guys are, are starting to feel good about each other and about themselves. And, and when you get that, you know, shoot, shots go down. You know, the basket becomes a little bit bigger. You know, obviously, we hit nine threes in two games, which we hadn't done all season. So it's just a matter of the confidence, moving the basketball, making the extra pass. Uh, recently, uh, you know, Kyle Quinn was named Defensive Player of the Week for a performance uh, at Hampton at Howard. Now with this home stretch, pretty much candidate for Player of the Week, especially uh, against South Carolina State that first half uh, on national TV, which is something to see. Something well, he's played great for him. He's really stepped up, you know, his game the second half of the season. And, uh, you know, last game, a tremendous start for him. You know, I hadn't seen him start that way at all. You know, he's been there for three years now, and that's the best start he's ever had. I think 16 out of however many points he had for his. Um, so he, he had a tremendous start, and hopefully he can continue. Yeah, 17 out of 20 points for the Spartans, and finished with 26 in that game as well. Um, all that said, once again, now you got to bring the show on the road um, against a very good Morgan State team, second in the MEAC, very familiar with this team. They them in that, in that championship game in 09. They're on a roll as well. They've won four out of five. They're six and one at home. So we work pretty much cut out for you guys. Um, one of the things I noticed is one of the better scoring teams in the MEAC if they're in the conference. But they don't hit a lot of threes. Um, so it's kind of like as you diagnose them, like what do you think they're doing to score so many points without hitting from beyond the arc? Well, they, they get the ball inside. Uh, Kevin Thompson is one of the better post players in the conference. Um, Dwayne Jackson penetrates to the basket. I mean, he shoots the ball pretty well from three, but he's really been attacking the basket this year, getting to the free throw line. Eric Brooks, another person, another player who gets to the free throw line, gets to the basket. So those things help them uh, score points without using the three point line. Alone. And on the defensive side, both of you guys are pretty similar, holding teams to uh, about 44%. But you guys are hitting the three ball and they're not. Will that be a, be a difference in this game? Well, I think it's going to just come down to defense. You know, both teams are, are, are tough, aggressive basketball teams. We play a little bit um, up-tempo in terms of our defense, and they like to keep it off court. It's going to come down to whoever can you know, execute offensively and then play defense and you know, keep the, the score in the tempo that we like. If they want to play in the 50s, the 60s, we want to play in the same. Uh, it's definitely, especially with all the scores, uh, not for State, three players averaging double figures. Morgan State also three players with double figures. One of the key matchups, as you said, Kevin Thompson and Kyle Quinn, some of the premier post players we have in the league really going at it. Uh, I guess one of the things in that is kind of like those two guys that can pretty much go at each other one on one. Um, that have an impact on the health defense. I think uh, guys will have to have more movement uh, away from the ball, like when Kyle Quinn gets it, so it's going to be Henry Kevin. Yeah, well, I mean, we can't just try to force feed him. You know, we've got to move the basketball and do the things that have made us successful over the last three, four games. Um, defensively, you know, Thompson's a very good play. And you're not going to stop somebody one-on-one. -on -one. Just try to make it tough for them to score. He's going to get points. Just try to make it tough for them. You know, try to keep Kyle in the Most definitely. Um, and then moving on, don't want to look too far ahead from, from Oregon, of course, but uh, Coppin State uh, as well on the road uh, on Monday. Um, 
They are one of the three teams tied for uh, fourth in the conference. They have the second highest scoring offense in the league, so a very scoring team. You guys are very similar in your ranks on defense and in rebounding, um, but they don't shoot free throws very well. Uh, how would, how would that uh, change or make an impact on the game for you guys? Well, they shoot a lot of threes, so they're, they're not really getting to the free throw line because they're, they're a jump shooting team. I think for us, it's getting out. If they hit 11 threes or 10 or 11 threes per game, so it's going to be important for us to defend, defend the three-point shot. And make sure that they don't get open looks at all. I guess what would it be the def defensive strategy, if you will, getting out and shoot like Michael Harper and Tim Gallo and guys like that? Well, the first thing is to stop the dribble penetration because that normally creates a shot for somebody. So if we can keep guys in front of us, we won't have to help as much. We won't leave them open to get open shots. So that keeping the person in front of us, contesting all jump shots. Right. See the Spartans can contest all shots over this away game stretch here as they go to Morgan State, Baltimore, Maryland this Saturday. ESPNU matchup as well against Morgan State. So see if the Spartans can put together another good nationally tele televised game. For more on Instruments basketball, as always, instruspartans.com.